Well, hello there, my lovely Geminis. How have you been? I hope you're doing really well. Um, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It's nice to have you here. If you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. I'm nearly at 300 subscribers as of recording. Um, so I'm really excited. Thank you so much for your views, your likes, your shares. Um, it really means a lot to me. I really appreciate it. So let me see what I can do for you today. Um, let's have a look at your person, see what's going on with them. Um, I am thinking about doing sort of a monthly general read for each sign, um, but um, uh, I haven't quite decided whether I'm gonna do it or not because that could be like an hour long. <laughs> so uh, yeah, um, let me know what you think. <laughs> So, my darlings, Geminis, let's see what is going on with your person. Gemini's person, please. Ooh, okay, so I am seeing a telephone here. Um, so either you're waiting for contact from this person or this person is about to call you. I'm not quite sure what it is because I'm not actually hearing that phone ring or seeing it light up there. I feel as though you are perhaps waiting on them at this moment in time. Um, if you haven't already subscribed yet, yeah, please subscribe. It does help me connect with your energy for the next time we do a read here. Right, okay. So, straight away, look at this. We've got King of Wands has come out. Now, it's not gender specific, but we've got Fire Sign Energy just here. So, we've got Aries, Leo, Sag um, coming out nice and strong. Uh, we've got Sagittarius again here. We've got Aquarius over here. Um, what is that one? We've got a child. So, again, yeah. Um, I want to say Capricorn, yeah. Right, so um, you've got <laughs> wow, you've got three major arcana out of four. Fabulous. There's, there's there's no holding you back, is there? Really, when you get when you guys are in your energy and you're in your flow and you just get going. Um, mm, yeah, I feel with this King of Wands just here, you've got a person who is really kind of fighting against those around them. Now this could be you, but I feel like this could be your person, okay? So they're really nervous and worried about what other people think of them. Um, sometimes this card can point to a narcissist, but it doesn't always mean that they are a narcissist. It, it can be someone is narcissistic, um, but not a full-blown narcissist, okay? That's a very distinct personality type, and it's all to do with brain hardwiring. Um, Whereas, uh, you know, sometimes, because narcissists, basically, they lack empathy. They have, they, they just don't have it in them to be understanding of other people. They just, they can't imagine what it's like to be that other person. They just feel as though everything, um, everybody is like them. And they, they just don't see how, why it would be different. They can't understand that concept. People that are narcissistic tend to be people that are maybe dark empaths so people or energy vampires so people that are well aware of the effect that they're having on somebody they they like it they kind of buzz off of that energy so they're doing it in a really kind of nasty way um you know they're, they're kind of creating emotions and energies between the two of you so they can feed off of that energy um so, yeah, I would say here, you could possibly be dealing with someone who is a dark empath. Um, so, mm, so basically, this is someone that really enjoys those, you know, creating chaos here. Um, mm, they, I feel like this is someone as well that might be a little bit immature. Because um, I'm seeing someone who's sort of fully decked out here with, like, trainers and... I don't know, it's like all the gear, it has to be like top brand stuff or designer labels here. But literally, they will not blink twice here at paying um, above and beyond for something if they think it's going to give them presence or make them look like they're wealthy and they can, um, you know, basically afford this and that and everything else. But I think, yeah, because some, for some of them here, it's about the car. Like they have to have... The top of the range car they cannot be seen just driving around in any old thing they've got to have this um you know amazing bells and whistles vehicle 
something that's going to really make them feel like they've won in life or they're winning at life and that they know other people are going to look at and think oh wow they've got money and automatically respect them for having money um but most people don't actually think like that <laughs> um so that's where the narcissism comes in is that you know they um they're expecting a reaction from people and then they're surprised when they don't get that reaction they don't understand why people um you know may slight them they may not be as impressed with their material stuff because yeah not everyone is going to be impressed by that um so yeah i feel like you've got somebody here who could be very big on um, social media or they think of themselves as being very big on social media this is somebody who likes to shine stand out from the crowd someone who's really kind of confident and wow look at me um, and even if they're quiet, like they do not have to be a loud person for this. They can just be very quiet, but they know that if they just walk in and stand there, everyone should look at them. I was like, um, you know, like they got the shades on, and they, you know, they just want people to kind of be in awe of them. Um, and I kind of feel like they may be saying here, I want someone on my level. I want someone who's going to be, um, who understands what I go through, who understands um, exactly what my struggles are. <laughs> so much of themselves oh my gosh so yeah this is someone i think you know the i feel like a lot of this is in the head it is fabricated it's not necessarily what the reality is this is what king of wands is all about it's kind of creating this persona of someone who's very um powerful wealthy um all of this stuff but i feel like yeah it, it a lot of that is their perception like this is what i'm trying to achieve um but i feel like they're not really there they could have a lot of these bells and whistles to say hey look at me i, I am there but i feel like it's a lot of it is fake it's not like they may not have money actually in the bank here um it, it's like this is someone who's living month to month week to week here um yeah so what what else have we got then? So you've got um chariot and you've got the hanged man, which is really weird because they're very opposite, because this one's all about change moving forward, um, making progress here, and this one is about being stuck. It's like you can only get so far with this person, I feel. Like you you kind of you're like, oh yay, things are moving really fast, and then you like hit a roadblock. Look at this. So they really, um, for some of you here, I'm getting holiday. You could have plans here to go away with this person. Um, and then it's stuck, it's halted. Like what is going on here? Now that could be outside of your control, um, you know, with the current restrictions, etc. But I feel also like this is someone who does get really stubborn about things, you know, like, because why? Because they want to maintain this perception, this illusion, this image of themselves. And then right here, if they feel like they're not getting um, that kind of adoration, then they turn into this person, this stubborn kind of, well, child. It feels kind of tantruming toddler, like, oh, well, if you don't want to know, then that's it. I'm, I'm just saying, like, this is someone who's got like coercive control uh, kind of energies to them. Yeah. Yeah, this is that toddler tantruming kind of energy. People think coercive control is someone who's sat down and they've worked it all out and they've thought about it. And they, but very often it's someone who doesn't actually understand what they're doing themselves. Um, so they, 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 it's hard to say. Like they're not maliciously doing it. They're not sat down thinking, oh, well, I'm going to, I want to stop them from, you know, seeing their friends and their family and this is how I'm going to do it. Like they don't make a plan. Um, often what they do is they react in the moment and it's that reaction that each time you you know they throw their toys out of the pram here they they kind of they're testing to see how you respond to that you know if they get a certain reaction from you like oh no I promise you know I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna do anything I can to you know make sure that you're happy then 
they know they've got you, they've hooked you, and they can do that again and again and again. But as you get wise to it, and you start saying, well, no, I'm not falling for that anymore. This is when they start getting more and more extreme um, with their demands or with their reactions. Um, so, you know, if you, if that first time they feel like they haven't got you, um, they've got, they haven't got control over you, then what they might do is they might try a different tactic. They might come back in and say, well, you know, I'm really sorry. Can we try again? Um, I really want this to work. Um, but if they know off the bat here that you are not going to be, um, falling for any of their bs then they will just kind of leave you be okay um this is why we say rejection is protection um because right here we've got the star we've got this kind of new start here we've got this wish fulfillment so this is really this person's energy coming through like this is what they want to be seen as as this you know shining star here you know everyone bow down and worship me um but i feel like you're you're not going to do that to this person you're not going to do that for this person i think they know that um but they have been trying here They've been trying their best, all these different tactics, to try and see what what they can get, you know, how they can get things, um, you know, get you under control here. So they might have had, at times, you know, been willing to compromise, but I feel like this is someone that does not like to compromise, like they will not budge, you know, and that's a big red flag here, if someone's not willing to compromise. It's, in fact, actually, there is a red flag just here on the cards, look, it's in a bit of focus. Um, but it is there. So I would say um, with this person, if you, because we all have free will and, you know, that is part of life. Um, and there's no judgment here. Sometimes you have to allow things to play out to a conclusion. But I feel like by having readings like this, it saves you a lot of time and effort um, figuring these things out. You could you know, just here with this person, if you just take a moment and think about those times where they've been stubborn after promising you something, because I feel like this is a promise right here. This is someone who's promising, oh, I'm going to do this for you. I'm going to be like this. And then they kind of turn it around and they go, oh, actually, no, it's not a good time now. Uh, I'm not feeling it. I'm not doing that anymore. Um, so when when you kind of walk away, then they'll go, well, no, hold on. Here's that promise again. I promise we'll do it. And then they, they kind of stop it again. And then they go back to the promise when you kind of go, oh, I don't, yeah, I'm not, I'm not buying it. And then they get stuck again. So, yeah, think about their behavior, um, what you've had from them in the past here. And then, um, you know, if it helps you to write it down, how many times have they said no or halted something that you want to do versus when they want to do something? Is it equal? Or is it always you have to go along with what they want to do? So have a little think about that and see if that's something you're willing to kind of deal with day to day, month to month, year to year. Have a think about that. Because I think once someone knows that they've got you and they can have this kind of control over you, then they're going to keep doing that and they'll get increasingly extreme when they have these tantrums. Um, it's kind of dangerous, okay? You don't want to be in that situation, okay? So this star card could also be your energy here. Like it's time to have a new start. It's time to have a new beginning. Um, this this person has too many devils on their shoulder. You know, they're being influenced just here by this character, which could be society, but it's basically, it's their own mind here telling them, this is what you want to be doing. This is how you want to be behaving. These are the things you need to buy. Um, and this is the kind of person you want to have on your arm. So yeah, really not a, not a great person here. Um, yeah, but some, um, you know, I feel like you do have, you're all on the horizon here. You've got new energy coming in, this new start. Um, you know, you do not have to put up with this behavior from someone. You do not have to. You deserve your happiness, okay? Um, happy people do not behave like this to others. And you cannot make them happy, okay? If you keep giving in to them, you may think, oh, it's going to keep them happy. 
and that's what I want. But then where's your happy? You deserve to be happy as well, my darling. All right? So I'll leave that with you. Take care. Have a fantastic week. I'm sending you lots of love and light and blessings and abundance. And um, yeah, subscribe and I will see you next time for your next weekly read.